Hey what's up guys welcome to the channel my name is Miro and in today's video we'll be taking a closer look at a couple of recent pairings one of them is gonna be Afonopelma Moderatum which is by many considered the most beautiful tarantula native to the United States and the second one's gonna be Hylos the RD jumping spider and both of these pairings are gonna have a different endings one of them is gonna be a Hollywood romance and the second one's gonna be more of a Tarantino movie. I mean, do you think that God came down from heaven and stopped? Here goes my three seconds of free copyright stuff. Speaking of Tarantino, don't forget to check us out at spidercafe.shop because we do have a Pulp Fiction Spider Cafe hybrid t-shirt. For my tarantula pairing, I set up both enclosures next to each other in a butterfly habitat. That way I don't have to sit there and just watch them all the time because sometimes it can take a really long time. Come on, pretty boy. Time for round three. Mm -hmm. Round number three. Yeah, you go. Awesome. Let's see, once he starts drumming, you know we're onto something. Oh uh, yeah, there we go. There we go, he knows. And what makes me also really happy is that I got him that female because I just don't want to have this spider expire for no reason. He deserves to mate. I mean, that's all the males, males live for. Oi, you got... <laughs> so I was completely wrong when I was like, he goes, wrong way, bud. You're going the wrong way. Come down here. Yeah, come down here. There you go. I would love for this to happen, obviously this is my third time and I said it before but if I would have a chance I would probably try to release them uh, by Rio Grande in Texas next year, some of them, you know, in the area where they live. So I think in theory it's actually a good idea but in reality it's 20 hour drive to Texas and I probably wouldn't be able to take them on a plane so I would have to drive them for like 20 hours and also that area is known for trafficking so it's not a very safe area. Right now he definitely must know that she's in there. No? Come on buddy. Interesting. He eventually found his way and started drumming in front of her borough. I had to mute the audio because I was listening to audiobooks since it was taking them forever and my video would get demonetized which, you know, would probably not <laughs> matter at all but uh, still, you know, you guys don't want to listen to my audiobook I can make some good recommendations if you're into true crime stories, this was a good one So she is actually a little bit more receptive because you can see her legs When we tried to pair them up before, she was basically all fangs and she wouldn't even let him to get any closer The beginning of the pairing, when they're just touching each other's legs, looks nice and romantic but eventually it actually turns into more of a, like a boxing match and then a romance. I prepared these spiders before this pairing, I conditioned them, they were both really well fed as you can see on the female. The male spider is a little bit older, he molted like three or four months ago but we had to wait for her to molt to proper maturity which uh, was three weeks before this pairing. It's ideal if you guys have a cold room to put them in a cold room before the pairing but unfortunately we didn't have, we don't have anything like that in Los Angeles. When it comes to temperatures in our apartment we can raise them you know with heaters but we don't have AC so we are kind of in the hands of the local weather so if it doesn't get cold it just doesn't get cold. And this is the actual pairing. The male is using both of his pedipalps. He's using one to stimulate the female and just kind of like reassure her like okay this is this is all right everything's fine and he's using his other pedipalps to inseminate her. So it is kind of interesting to watch these giant spiders <laughs> and what looks like a wrestling match. So now we are gonna be waiting for her to lay an egg sac which can take us anything from few weeks to few months. I hear generally it takes two months. She can lay as many as 400-450 babies. So it would be an amazing achievement and it would be really nice because that would be a lot of spiders that don't end up being taken out of nature. So these are Afonopelmas and they take forever to mature. They can take up to 10 years, maybe even longer. So I'm not a big fan when people take them out of nature, especially not the mature females. So I kind of feel like this is a step to the right direction by pairing them up in, uh, in captivity. And I'm hoping that it's gonna work out for us. A 
Okay, let's move on to our jumping spiders, high was the RD. I paired those up before, but I got two bad XX, so it wasn't a full success. So this is my second pairing with new spiders, and I follow the general advice that I got from more experienced keepers and more experienced jumping spider breeders. There is not much cannibalism here. If you don't see any aggression or defensiveness from the spiders, you can keep them together. They will mate several times, and you can keep them together for a few days, and then you remove the male. So this is basically what I was following, and it worked out for me the first time they paired a few times but like I said the X egg wasn't good let's see what happened this time I did this pairing in open no butterfly habitat because they are very manageable so let's pick up where I'm learning the mail out yeah I think you know this yeah there we go this is kind of what I want but yeah we won't feed him we're just gonna lure him out here there we go Jumping spiders don't really like water, so you can actually see him. He is having a hard time climbing over it, and he decides to actually give up. He missed. So he's getting ready to jump here. It's a, what I want from him is to get him here, to get him here. Mm, he's already tapping. You know, something's there. No, definitely could sense her. Yeah, he's approaching. I got my brush ready, hopefully this is gonna be without any problems. Well, isn't he a little rummy, huh? He's definitely testing waters. Kind of a rough angle to see anything. It was really hard to get good angles on the footage, but the next clip looked very promising. So I left the male with the female overnight and everything was fine. And next morning when I came back and check on them, they were back at it. There. I give them some space because I also heard that they actually kind of shy when they see a lot of commotion, they may disengage. And then I came back after a few hours and I saw this. Yeah, sometimes the pairing ends like this. The female ate the male. Real bummer. Alright guys, I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, hit the like button, notifications and subscribe button if you like my hat and my cup. Don't forget to check us out at spidercafe.shop. We also have some cool Spider Cafe famous movie hybrid t-shirts. Don't forget to check out our friend's music, I'll put link down below. And I will see you in a week. Ciao!